what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you part two of how to rank in Google Maps, making sure that your on-page optimization is on point. Watch this. All right, guys, so just to recap, this is part two of three. On Monday, I did the first lesson, which basically spoke about on-page optimization. And just real quick, if you didn't get a chance to see the video, I'll put it in the description below, or if I figure out how to put it in the YouTube video portion, uh, you know, with the little uh, thing that slides out, this is watch this video next. I'll put that video in there. I suggest you click it. This is part two of three. And basically what I spoke about is all the on-page optimization, the things that you need to do, for example, putting the phone number nice and big on the right-hand side, adding the address underneath the logo, not having a home link, using the homepage uh, as the GMB category, uh, using the first set of links as all your secondary GMB categories. So these are all your secondary GMB categories. And then your services are all your keyword pages. So today, what I'm going to show you is, is like I said, the first day we spoke about everything on the homepage. Uh, today, I'm going to speak to you about your GMB categories and your services pages. So this is the way that I do it. And please take this with a grain of salt when I'm telling you the way that you should do it. It's the way that I do it, right? Your guru or the person that you follow may have another way and it's equally as effective. I don't mean to you know, put anybody down, but this is the way that I do it. And I believe that everybody else is wrong. You know, it's like if anybody's been out to eat with me, uh, I always feel that my dish, the thing that I, I order is the best thing and everybody should have ordered what I ordered. And then as I'm eating it, I tell them how much, uh, how much they missed out by not getting my dish, the thing that I got. So what I'm basically saying is this is the way that I do it. Other people do it different with, differently, but uh, I'd like you to do it my way. All right. So all the websites that I set up, I make the home page the first GMB category, meaning that when you go to info and you go to that's plumber is the first GMB category that everything here is about the GMB category and about the geo. Right. And I answer all the questions about what do plumbers do? I don't put pictures of the kids. I don't say it's a family owned business since 1924. You know, people want to know how you could help them. I'm not saying that's not important. And then I put a little section about the area. Right? Okay. Like I said, that's the way that I do it. Now, the first set of links are your secondary GMB categories, meaning that your homepage is about your first GMB category and your first link is your second GMB category, which is heating contractor. I, I was just fooling around with this, so I, I, I just messed this up, <laughs> right? But heating contractor is the second GMB category, so it should be the first link, right? And then drainage service, right? Drainage service, heating service. These are your GMB categories. These are your GMB categories. Like I said, this is just an example website. I don't use this website for anything. Just to show, just to show you. All right. Now, here's the, um, well, you know what? Before I get into that. So for every page, for example, here's, here is uh, drainage service. You want to answer all the questions about drainage service in that area. Now I'm going to use this website. I'm going to put it in the link in the description below so you could use it as a guide for your website, right? But you want to answer all the questions that people have about drainage service and different types of drainage services. The pictures that we're using have to do with drainage, uh, drainage services, clogged drainage repair, 
in the town of Windmere, Florida, or Orlando, Florida, wherever we were basing this out of. So if you went to California or if you went to Arizona, these pictures may be different. So you need to make sure that you're using pictures in Google. All right, let me show you real quick. Let me show you because some people are going to be like, what, what is he talking about? What is he saying? Some other people are like, some people are saying, why is he using um, Edge? The reason being is because I don't want to sign out of my Gmail account. So I'm just using a different browser. So if I go to images, assuming I was in, you know, Orlando or Windmere, Florida, these are the type of images that I would use for this page for clogged drainage repair, if I was trying to rank for that keyword, right? All of them appear to be, uh, well, most of them appear to be a drain with somebody working on them. Right. And then I could show you ways to make your image more popular by putting it in, you know, Google, my, uh, doing a Google post about it. And then also sharing that image on social and putting it on Web 2.0s like Blogger and, and Tumblr accounts, you know, throughout the uh, throughout the Web. And when Google sees that your image is the most popular, um, you're going to get more you're going to get higher ranking. So but that's for another lesson. All right. So let's go back. Let's go back. So all of these pages are, are your GMB category. So every page that you have here, you have pages in your GMB categories right here. All right. Do not create pages without having them in your Google My Business category. And that goes for keyword pages. Now, this is the thing that I really wanted to speak about because this is a hidden gem and I haven't seen anybody speak about this I'm sure somebody has I don't you know but I haven't I haven't seen it as of yet so this is what I'd like you to look at see the services link on the bottom here so if you're going to create keyword pages what you need to do is under plumber you need to add all the keywords that have to do with plumber and then you need to create pages for each one. I can guarantee you if you log on to your Google My Business page and you click the services, the services that you click don't correlate with your services pages on your website. And that's what you need to do. That's really the big point of this lesson is that for every Google My Business category, once you create Google My Business categories, what Google will do is in your services, they'll set up, they'll set up your services. So this is your primary category. These are all the keywords that go with, with Plumber. You're to add those in by clicking Add Another Service. See, pipe repair, rep uh, uh, repair toilet, garbage disposal right so on and so forth you just click these or you add a custom service then for drainage it's the same thing so for example right all these pages are right here now like I said it's an example site I didn't do I didn't I didn't make you know 700 pages here but you see what I mean it right heating contractor you do the same thing, AC maintenance, clean ducts, uh, install ducts, uh, install thermostat. You, cl you click all these, right? You get them in here under heating contractor, but then you got to create, then you got to create a page on your website about those services, right? So what you could do with services, you could do plumbing, drainage right and then you know just do little you know little pages that attach to that but that's super, something that's super important and not that many people are doing that not that many people are creating pages based on their services in the GMB so what I'd like you to do 
what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just log into your Google My Business. I'd like you to click the services and I could almost guarantee that every service is just going to look like this where you need to add a service because the page wasn't set up. Uh, the links weren't set up. And then what you need to do is you need to go to your website and your keyword pages you need to set up in your Google My Business on the services. That's going to really help your rankings. That's really going to help your rankings. So this is part two of three. If you guys didn't get a free moment to watch the first video, I'll put it in the link uh, below. And you could check out part one because it goes over everything in the home page. Now this is everything about the inside pages. And then on Friday, tomorrow, I'll create a video that kind of just, you know, uh, goes over everything and really takes it to the next step. I thought it was a good idea to create the video in three parts so this way it gave you enough time to just do a look. Because this could get overwhelming, right? This could go get overwhelming. So guys, I hope everybody has a good day. Remember what I say in every video, it's the thing that's most important is to make sure that you take care of your family, uh, be good to your wife and your kids, make sure you clean up around the house, right? Take the dog out, make the bed, all stuff like that, right? Do 51% in the relationship. If you're lucky enough to be in a relationship, don't take that for granted. That's the thing that's most important. And, uh, and we'll, we'll check you out tomorrow. We'll check you out tomorrow. We'll put part three there. In the meantime, you know, you could look at the example site. You could log into your Google My Business. You could see where maybe some of the mistakes are in your Google My Business. And hopefully this video helped. Listen, if it did help, please feel free to like and subscribe to my, ch my channel. If, uh, if you'd like to uh, make a donation to my channel, just, just look in the link uh, in the description below because not only do I take PayPal and regular credit cards, but I'm also taking cryptocurrency. Isn't that sexy, right? So I'm also taking crypto. So if you've made some money in crypto and you want to throw some Ethereum or some Bitcoin or some Cardano towards me or Dogecoin, feel free. You know, I'll take a little bit, uh, a little bit. You know, you don't have to go crazy, but you can make a donation. Uh, it's real simple. I set it up. It's super simple for you. And if you don't have the cash or, or, the, or the Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency, just that's cool. Just, uh, just like and subscribe. Maybe share the video on your Facebook or your Twitter or something like that. That's, that's cool. And um, my, you know, you see I left my text. Feel free. You could text me anytime, 24 hours a day. I usually wake up for a couple hours in the middle of the night. I'll answer you back. I'm never that busy not to answer you. You know, I have a full staff that works with me and, and uh, we're always working. And uh, I, could I could always help you out. So feel free. You could text me 24 hours a day and I'll get back to you. And it's really my cell phone number and I'll really help you. Right? I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything in return. So uh, that's really good. So that's good. So guys, I want everybody to have a good day and we'll, we'll check you out tomorrow. Be good. Bye. Thank you.